Hello, hello, my lovely gems. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Gems, we have the Dead End and the Destroyer, the Venom, the Maiden, and the One. This feels like being locked in a room with someone. <laughs> And I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing because it probably depends on my gem, but this feels like being locked in a room with someone. Who just... I don't know anybody who's ever gone through a divorce anybody who's ever gone through you know like if you've been like in a like in a long-term committed relationship with someone you know like you you lived together or you familyed together you lived together like committed relationship with someone and you've spent years of your life you know like I like I gave you a, a decade of my life you know like like that's what this energy feels like um of like, like I, I want out. This is destructive, you know. And then I feel like there's somebody who's like, that's what love is. Love is just destroying things. Love is da -da -da -da. love's not real. You know what I mean? Like just this. Like I feel like okay. Like Timmy came to destroy some Tonkas. You know what I mean? Like, like this. Like that type of energy, and. I don't know if that's just like a, like an energy that you were dealing with in the past and maybe you're not dealing with that energy anymore and, and you're moving through that. I don't know because I like, I don't know where you're at with that energy. You can be on either side of the story, you, you know, like you could be dealing with somebody in this energy. So obviously take what resonates, how it resonates and leave the rest because these are general reads and this is an intense energy. And sometimes I feel like when I get really intense energies like this, like I have somebody who really needs something like they like a message they need to hear and, and it might not be for everybody, you know, and that's okay because if somebody really needs something, then, you know, we should offer them that space. <laughs> um, but the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands, I mean, this is the Four of Wands in this deck is very much like a card of independence. Like I'm better off on my own. Like I can... I can offer myself more emotional fulfillment. I almost feel like this, like, no, I'm, I'm the one for me, you know, like I'm the one, it's me, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I, like I'm the one who wants to offer myself the opportunity to explore life. And I'm the one who wants to experience love. And I'm the one who wants to whatever, 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 you know, because I just kind of feel like if this is a relationship, and shit's going down, there is like this, like, I feel like, and this is a thing. I mean, like, especially with, like, if you're married or you've been in a long-term relationship with like, there are points of time where you're like, listen, we need to, we need to sit down. We need to shut the door. We need to turn off our phones. We need to have this fucking conversation. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, this is not a conversation that everyone in the world needs to be involved in. And I don't know why the fuck everyone was involved in it in the first place, because the only two people that are involved in this conversation are the two people in this room. You know what I mean? Like, that's what that feels like. Like, frustration. <laughs> um, you know, just like, like I'm going to destroy every single fucking lie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because every single fucking lie is, is destroying us. Like, that's what that, like, that's what that feels like. And I don't know if you're, if you are resolving something or if something is breaking. Again, I really do think that it depends on the gym, but there is this level of, blah, you know, like this is, this is what is important.
more clarifiers. <laughs> because if you're going through a divorce and you're on the side of this where you're done, and you've got somebody saying this to you and you're just like, you know what, really and truly, like I hear what you're saying. It's so funny y'all because I had somebody comment on an aqua read from like a year ago and they were like, oh my God, I can't believe it. So I went back and I watched it. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, but it just feels like, like there does, like, like when you can like go back years you know, like not one, not two, go, go back a couple of years now. You know what I mean? Like go back three or four years now, go back. How, like, how long have you been in this relationship with this person? You know, like how long have you been dealing with this same shit over and over and over to the point where it's just kind of like, like, this is literally, this is not what love is. This is pain and misery and torment. This is dealing with shit that like, who do who? Who does that? Who deals with that? You deal with that? You, do you, do you love yourself? <laughs> do you really? Because I feel like you have really low standards. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I just like, I like, I'm really sorry, but my standards are a lot higher. I, like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, like you served me a McDonald's Happy Meal and I'm trying to eat at a, like a Michelin star, you know, like I want my fucking steak dinner. You know what I mean? And like, but not in terms of like finance. I feel like emotionally, you know what I mean? Just like in terms of, of just like in, in intellectually, like, like this, like there's no convert, like stimulating conversation. There's no emotional connection. There's literally nothing. Do you know what I mean? And it's just kind of like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I tried and I tried and I tried. You know what I mean? For years and it nothing, it like nothing. And like, I don't know how you can translate that to this. <laughs> But like, I know what this is and I know what I want and I know what I deserve. And I don't want your fucking McDonald's happy meal. Take your, take your prize toy and shove it up your ass. <laughs> you know, like the fuck, you know what I mean? I don't like, I don't know. I just like, I feel irritated as fuck. And it's funny cause I'm like actually in real life, super excited. <laughs> I'm about to just have an amazing week. <laughs> Um, and I don't know. So like, like I just, I share that with you because I, like, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm like directing this at anybody feeling any type of way about anything, you know, because I, I like, I don't feel any type of way about any of this. I just feel like, like whoever it is that you're dealing with, like you are like, you are at your wits end with this person. And maybe for some of you, you're going to be able to sort this out. But I really just like, I don't get the feeling that that's what's going to happen here. I kind of get the feeling that you are just done and you have an opportunity to really experience happiness. Well, because it, it's like anything, if you get a taste of something that is like, like that is exciting and enticing and, and like pure and, and like reaches into the heart of everything that you want to like experience in life. And you've been dealing with some dumb bitches. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, then, and then you don't have like the, the, and you, you don't want to turn back to that like like nobody wants to go back to that you know what I mean like nobody wants to go back to that and I feel like there's an idea of realizing that like like nobody wants that nobody wants what you have nobody nobody 
nobody wants you. No, like, like you wanted people to think that nobody wanted me because nobody wants you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, ugh. and I don't want anything to do with you because I love me and I want to work with people who love themselves, who trust themselves, who are like, I tasted freedom. And I cannot go back to hell. <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> It'll never happen. I don't know why you fought for hell for so long. That you had you were you had a hang up on some idea of loyalty and commitment. I feel like you had to learn what it was to walk away from something because you didn't trust it. I feel like for a lot of my gems, you're dealing with Scorpios. And for a lot of my gems, you, you experienced an end in a relationship. And you were like, that's all your fault. You destroyed this relationship. You don't know what loyalty is. You, da, 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 da. you just walked away. And that person being like, okay, loyalty, you don't know what loyalty is. Because if you knew what loyalty is, I wouldn't have to walk away. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get your fucking shit together. But you don't. And then, going and experiencing what true disloyalty is. Like, oh, 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 oh I destroyed everything? <laughs> You know what I mean? And then you experience true destruction. You experience somebody with a, like a vengeful spirit. And you get a taste of your own medicine and you have to walk away. Loyalty looks a lot different, doesn't it? I feel like you're getting out there, Jim. So thank God for that. All that we had pop out was the Ten of Swords. But that like the energy here is 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 a lot of backstabbing. Followed up with some more backstabbing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know, I feel like that like the only person who doesn't have a sword in their back is the person who kept their back against the wall. The wallflower. The one who stayed in their own lane. The one who didn't participate, because who wants to participate in that? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a shit show, if ever there were. You know what I mean? Like, that's goddamn circus. And it's a poorly put together one, might I add. <laughs> you know, like, not well done at all. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll rate that one a one and a half star. <laughs> You know, the sword, like done, done, like can't even, don't want to associate myself with it. Don't want to have anything to do with it. Learned a really hard lesson with that one. But Gems, I kind of also have the feeling you guys have gotten a taste of whether it's someone in your past, because I do feel like for some of my people here, there is somebody in your past who you've been dealing with, who like you did have this play out. And and now like the, like the person who you were like, I can't trust you, you ruin everything. Like you realized that they had to leave you because you couldn't be trusted because you ruin everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now you understand why it happened, like whatever went down, went down. You know what I mean? And it just, like, there just feels like this. Maybe you're, you're like reconnecting with somebody from your past and, and this person, like you, like you parted ways with them and it was rough, but like you, like you realize now just like how valuable they are to you. Um... I do. I feel like there's like that, well, you wanted my loyalty before and I didn't understand what that meant, but I understand what that means now. 
for my Scorpio, for my, for my gems who are probably dealing with Scorpios, or maybe you have Scorpio in your chart, I don't know, but obviously it can play out in a million different ways, but whoever is, whoever is going back, I feel like you're going back to somebody who was like, they were, they were never the problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like you're dealing with a fixed sign who was like, I was literally never the problem. <laughs> And you were over here flitting around, fluttering around on all your shit. You know what I mean? And I couldn't, like, I couldn't invite that into my life. I, like, I needed to protect myself from that. I needed to protect my family from that to the best of my ability, even if I wasn't able to. You know what I mean? I needed to try. Because just because I can't do it now doesn't mean I won't be able to do it later. And when if I can do it later, then it makes that, that period of time, you know, like, worth the effort. And... I don't know. I feel like there's something that just like makes sense to you in a way that like it didn't make sense to you before because you were on your high horse about how you were so loyal and you were proven all your loyalties and you were da 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 da, -da and how you really are all in a relationship and you really are all da, da 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 da. You know what I mean? But like, but you were doing it from a place of vindictive energy, and that victim vindictive energy came and it like whoop, got you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, um, again, you can be dealing with somebody in this energy. You can be on either side of the story, you know, like, but this is a big energy, you guys. Um, and it, and I may not be for everyone again, if it's not for you, you know, like, thanks so much for spending some time and hanging out. I really do appreciate all of your support. Um, and if this is for you, I'm sending you lots of love because I feel like this was a hard learned lesson. You know, like this was a hard learned lesson. Um, but the only wasted lessons are lessons never learned, right? You know, so you're learning lessons, you're making decisions and you're going in directions that are actually going to allow you to experience love, loyalty, fun. Gemini's, you're so much fun. Gemini's love to have fun. You know what I mean? Like I love gems. And it's like, you're fun and you're playful and you're magic. Like, ah, you are uh, like, you're, you're constantly consuming information, <laughs> you know, and because you're constantly consuming information, you have a very large pool of information to like draw from for your wit, for your, you know what I mean? And, and I just feel like, like you're ready to really start engaging in that, in that happiness and the, and the joy of life and the, the simple everyday pleasures that, you know, allow for those moments where you can have those conversations, where you can have those sparks of insight and that, that like that's inhale of pleasure and that exhale of giggle. And you know what I mean? I just kind of feel like there's, there's a lot there for you. Um, I don't know. I, well, I think one of my gems and he giggled. He, he was a giggler. And every time he laughed, he stuck his hand at the top of his pants, throw his head back in utter joy, <laughs> you know, and just laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And, uh, you know, like I like, I love the soup. My, one of my favorite things about him, um, you know, and, and walking around the house, always just talking to himself, having a full blown conversation with himself, you know, <laughs> like he talked to himself more than he talked to anybody else, you know? But it was just kind of like, like, Jim's, you're fun, you're creative, you're intelligent, you, you like to engage in those, those, in stimulation, you know what I mean? And I feel like stimulation for you has translated, um, to like, like battle and, you know, like contention. And it's like, that's, that's, that's not the core of who you are, um, and, and if you surround yourself with people who validate like those negative aspects of yourself, you're, you're going to get a taste of your own medicine. And I feel like you did get a taste of your own medicine, but that's okay. Um, you know, like we've all been there, <laughs> you know what I mean? We've all been there. Um, no judgment. It's good. It's good. The only wasted lesson is a lesson never learned period. End of story. Right. Um, and if you've learned a lesson, then you're making decisions that are really enabling you to start engaging in 
the laughter again, engaging in the, like in the fun banter of life, not the, the constant, you know, battle of just like rhetoric. Like why, what, what are you gaining out of that? You are just literally sucking the joy out of everything and everyone. <sighs> Gems, this is big, this is big. Um, revelations for the win. If this, does if this did resonate with you, please do give me a like, share, and subscribe. Wow, this was a 20 minute read, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, I will see y'all again soon, bye.